and he's talking about people taking care of each other and I find it so interesting that it never occurred to Jason or the writers that that's what these folks were doing they were taking care of the people in their town because they didn't like what they saw just like you talk about people taking care of each other in first of all Whoopi <laughs> I don't know how much common sense you have left I'm gonna just say you like this you say that the same thing that he was talking about, about taking care of people in their hometown and things like that, it's the same thing that black people was doing? No. How is black people taking care of of what they don't like seeing within their neighborhoods by tearing down their own neighborhood? It doesn't make sense. We just got a huge update in the Jason Aldean situation with his try that in a small town and his cancellation. As you can see on the screen right here, Jason Aldean files defamation suit against Whoopi Goldberg and The View. I am no racist is what Jason Aldean had to say to that situation. If you didn't see my video on Whoopi Goldberg and the rest of The View reacting to Jason Aldean, in my opinion, it definitely was, and I'm no legal expert, obviously, it definitely was grounds for defamation. And I think that they're lucky that they haven't gotten sued a whole lot longer Ago because they defame tons and tons of people with no ground to stand on. I mean, the things that Whoopi Goldberg and the rest of them were making up about Jason Aldean and the song Try That in a Small Town, you would think that they never listened to the song. And I'll show you a clip from Whoopi Goldberg's statements and why Jason Aldean would be suing Whoopi Goldberg in just a couple seconds here. But also, we have this news that somehow slid under the radar. I don't think a lot of people have been talking about this, but Jason Aldean is also filing a $58 million First Amendment lawsuit against CMT, the country radio station that censored the Try That in a Small Town song. Let's check out some of the details regarding this lawsuit against Whoopi Goldberg and The View filed by Jason Aldean. Jason Aldean says he's taking the advice of counsel and filing a $40 million defamation suit against Whoopi Goldberg, Sonny Hostin, Joy, and the rest of the host of ABC's The View. The suit filed in the 65th District Court of Writs and Motions seeks damages from both the show itself as well as the individuals who called Aldean racist. ABC responded by saying they had no idea that the show's host would be so brave brutal, but held firm that the show is protected First Amendment free speech. What ABC failed to remember is that free speech doesn't save Whoopi from screaming fire in a crowded theater. She needs to pay for her little stunt, said Aldine's attorney. They all do. Their behavior wasn't just abhorrent. It was un-American. Yes, they, I mean, they, I don't think they would take offense to that statement whatsoever. I don't think they like America at all. I don't think they enjoy being called. Bro, The View is the most wokest freaking thing that airs on TV. <laughs> like, The View is just the most wokest thing. I mean, I don't know what else to say about The View. What else could you honestly say about The View? What word could describe The View? Y'all let me know in the comments. What word can honestly describe The View? I don't even know a word that could describe liberals anymore. I I, I lost all, every word every word in the dictionary. It's hard to even say what, the, what liberals are anymore. It's hard to say what The View is. The View is just woke. They're woke. I mean, seriously, every liberal in the every liberal in their mama done said that this whole Aldean situation is racist. Al Dean's song is racist. This is that. This is that. He's talking about black people. Ah, all this rah rah, bro. And the song wasn't racist at all. Coming from a lot of black people who said the song was not racist, including myself. I don't think the song was racist, but I don't know how to. I don't have to continue to repeat myself about Jason Al Dean's song because I don't want to sound like a broken record. You know what I'm saying? What's said is already said. What's done is already uh, has already been done. But what I could say is that this situation is getting even juicier and juicier. The fact that he's filing a lawsuit is getting juicier by the minute. I mean, I don't think this will ever die down. It's just getting juicy, okay? What I've heard do, come on. All American, they don't want anything to do with this country. They they hate everything that is pro America. So I don't think that Whoopi Goldberg or Sonny Hostin or Joy Behar, I don't think any of them from the View would have any issue with that statement at all. Whoopi told Cynthia Luhu that she's not worried about another lawsuit she heard about from the Dunning Kruger Times. Just keep that skip guy away, sweetie. She told Cindy, "I'll give you all the scoops. I like to support the Asian community." Jesus. Luhu told Whoopi that she didn't particularly care for the stereotypes since she's Lithuanian, but she did agree that skip is a bit of a creep let's also check out what whoopi goldberg had to say about jason aldi in this clip I'm, it's pretty insane what these people have been getting away with, what Whoopi Goldberg and the rest of the view have been getting away with, not just with the Jason Aldean try that in a small town situation, with all with so many other situations that I've covered over the last year or so of, of the view just absolutely going in, defaming people, just saying things that straight up aren't true about people just because they dislike them. I can't believe they've lasted this 
long without a serious lawsuit, at least as far as I know. I'm not, I'm no expert on The View and their past legal experiences, but from everybody that I have seen them and I have covered them defame, I haven't seen any lawsuits hit them, at least major ones. So let's check out what Whoopi Goldberg actually had to say about Jason Aldean and why his song, Try That in a Small Town, was so racist. So country singer Jason Aldean is getting backlash for the video of his song, Not in a Small Town. Not in a small town. You'll see in this clip, I played it already a couple of times on stream and in the last in a past video. She messes up so much about this story that, like I said earlier, it seems like Whoopi Goldberg has never even listened to the song, Try That in a Small Town, or even watched the video, the music video for the song. Which critics are saying is racist. It's got lyrics, racist lyrics and images. Aldine says the song's about unity. Here's uh, South Dakota Christy Neem, Gnome, defending him. Here's a clip. So she hasn't gotten anything right so far. And we're going to skip over this clip because it's just kind of irrelevant for this video. We want to see what Whoopi had to say and why Jason Aldean is suing Whoopi Goldberg. So let's check out the rest of what Whoopi had to say here. Play anywhere? <laughs> you own South Dakota now? <laughs> listen, I, listen, you know, there are lyrics in the song and I think... You know, he talks about life in a small town and it's different, you know, and he shows these images. He's got uh, folks uh, from the Black Lives Matter movement and he's talking about people taking care of each other. And I find it so interesting that it never occurred to Jason or the writers that that's what these folks were doing. They were taking care of the people in their town because they didn't like what they saw. Just like you talk about people taking care of each other in first of all Whoopi, <laughs> i don't know how much common sense you have left i'm gonna just tell you like this you say that the same thing that he was talking about about taking care of people in their hometown and things like that it's the same thing that black people was doing no how is black people taking care of of what they don't like seeing within their neighborhoods by tearing down their own neighborhood it doesn't make sense if I don't like something that's happening in my neighborhood, I'm not going to tear down my neighborhood more just to get a point across. I'm not going to burn down my own race businesses in my, in my area. I'm not going to burn down my local grocery store just so I can get a point across to say, I don't like what's going on in the neighborhood and we need to make a change. That's not making a change. That's making it worse. I don't, I'm just like, huh? It just don't make sense. What Jason Aldean was saying is that the things that was happening, you try these things in a small town, like burning all this stuff, like this stuff ain't gonna happen because in a small town, you're so close. Everybody and their mother know each other. So you're so close. Like, I, I'm just, it just didn't make sense. It just don't make sense on how we're gonna take care of our, what, we're, what we don't like seeing and just do the same thing that, that makes the situation worse by burning things down and riding up and down the street. Burn down our local grocery store that we got to go get groceries from. Like, I, I just, it just don't make sense. Okay. Small towns. We do the same thing in big towns. You just have to realize that when you make it. You just got to realize, Jason, that whenever they're setting buildings on fire, blowing cars up, like, setting dumpsters on fire and, and everything like that, assaulting people, that's all just them standing in solidarity with each other. They're just taking care of each other, Jason. Like, you just got to understand where Whoopi's coming from and where these rioters are coming from, man about black lives matter people kind of say well are you are you talking about black people what are you talking about here if we're talking about americans taking care of each other then it shouldn't be about black lives matter you should be able to show all the different things that have gone on in our country where people stood up and said no more we do the same thing that small towns do that's my two cents to that and there was a whole like 15 or 20 minute segment that they did just trashing on try that in a small town trashing on jason Aldi and calling him racist saying that the town he's from is racist and calling the song racist over and over again you can see why if you watch especially the entire segment why he would be suing them why he would be suing the view and Whoopi goldberg specifically for defamation you could definitely see in that clip you could see that there's some grounds but if you watch the entire thing i already did a video on it so if you want to go check that out i go over all of the clips of all of them just trashing on this song and defaming Jason Aldean and the song of Try That in a Small Town. So if you didn't see that, I would definitely recommend you go check that out. But let me know. All right. Shout out to shout out to the guy who made this uh, video. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to him. But I, let me give y'all my take on this. Okay. Uh, first of all, 
I don't let, let I'm gonna be honest. I don't watch the view. The reason why I don't watch the it's the same reason why I don't watch the news. You know what I'm saying? I don't have time for people to 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 uh to like what's the right word to use? To degrade somebody else because they don't like a certain thing about that person. Like what he said in the video. You know what I'm saying? Like if you don't like something about a person, you don't just publicly Oh, this and that and this and that. You just point out everything that you don't like and it's just like all the bad outweigh the good. You feel me? And that's just the same thing with the news. All the news portray is things that are negative. I mean, I know they probably do some good things on the news and show good things, but literally they like the negative outweigh was the good things they post on the on the news or stream on the news. You see what I'm saying? So that's the reason why I don't watch the view and I don't watch the news. However, what I could say about this whole type of situation is that you cannot sit here and tell me that black people take care of their own neighborhoods and they take care of each other around when we're killing each other, we're destroying each other, we're destroying the things that's in our own neighborhoods, such as grocery stores, such as uh, black owned businesses and things like that. And you say, well, this is how we decide to take care of one another. No, this is not. This is how we decide to destroy one another. That, that is what we're doing. We're destroying one another. And you say that Jason Aldean is racist and this and that. Before you call somebody racist, how about you look at the lyrics of the song? How about you actually look at the video? Because it wasn't just black people in the video. No, it was not. It wasn't just black people. Like, if you think about every crime that he said in the song, the, if you the first thing that comes to your mind is black people, that that shows there is something in the black community that needs to that needs a change. Because if you think about as uh, soon he say. What do you say? Um, I've been listening to the song all week, y'all. He said, um, uh, car carjack an old lady at a red stop or a red light, or something like that. Something similar to that. Uh, if you the first thing you think about is a black person carjacking somebody, there is a change that needs to happen in the black community. Because there's no way that he listed all these crimes in the first crime, and the first people we think about is that's black people. When he say robbing uh robbing a uh owner. At a liquor store or some uh, some similar to that, but when he says things like that, the first thing we think about is black people. There is something wrong with that situation. That shouldn't be the first race we think about when it comes to crimes. We're not the only race that do crimes. And Jason Aldean didn't say anything about black people doing these different crimes. I'm just trying to figure out where y'all getting this information from. Like. Seriously, y'all let me know what y'all think about the situation. I'm actually glad that he's suing them. They deserve to be sued because this is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. Like, <laughs> literally, I am so sick and tired of America just dividing itself. You know what I'm saying? We're supposed to be united, but we have become so divided, bro. We're supposed to be one nation under God, but we became one nation under one president. You see what I'm saying? Like, I just... America has truly divided, bro. It, and it's getting worse by the minute. Not even by the hour. Not even by the day. But by the minute. We call everybody and their mama racist. We kill everybody. It's just, bro, we cannot become one. We we just can't be joined to one, bro. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section below, man. Uh, I love y'all. You know what I'm saying? I love y'all. I appreciate y'all for a big 100K in the building. Big 100K, man. We finally hit it, bro. I appreciate it. I love y'all. I thank y'all for stopping by. It's me, your boy, Depan. God bless. Stay blessed. Peace.